Well, a retired couple in Martin County has been tagged again by cyber criminals. They say these thieves used their personal information to create fake businesses to get a federal disaster relief loan. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman uncovered scammers are targeting victims from all over the country. Uh, silver coins. Richard Lowe is a coin collector and a retired doctor. One thing he's not. So supposedly there are two farms in the middle of my home somewhere. Lowe never farmed a day in his life, but he and his wife are now victims of this loan scheme twice. Lowe says identity thieves got two small business administration disaster relief loans of just under $50,000 and created fictional farms in their name. The Lowe property obviously is not a farm. The only things that grow here are trees, grass, and shrubs. But Richard Lowe's worried that he'll soon have to start paying back a loan on a phony business at a place where no crops are grown. It's frightening, you know? He's not alone. Contact 5 found victims of the same scheme in Tennessee, Ohio, and Kentucky, and also Okeechobee County. It's a pretty low blow. It's pretty low. Cybersecurity expert Kerry Kersky tells Contact 5 the SBA's list of eligible businesses for disaster relief loans includes farms. So because they are mentioned in there, that might have been something that the bad guys were using, thinking it'd be easier for them to go ahead and get the uh, the applications approved. Kersky says federal programs to boost the economy during the coronavirus pandemic made easy targets for ID thieves. Another reason, she says, people need to consider freezing their credit. A credit freeze prevents a a new creditor from seeing your credit report. If they can't see their credit report, a financial decision can't be made, therefore the account will not be opened. The government should be protecting me. Richard Lowe's frustrated. He still gets monthly reminders from the SBA that he'll have to start paying back the loans next summer. He's worked for weeks trying to clear his name, but he says his credit score has dropped more than 100 points. You can't get loans for a car or a house, or you can't get the the interest rates you want. The SBA says it wants anyone victimized by this fraud to report it to them. We've also posted links on how to freeze your credit on WPTV.com. Experts say that will not affect your credit score. Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.